Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, I'm going to show you a detailed showcase of the new upcoming Kitsune Fruit. And this will answer some things like is it good for grinding? But before I start, be sure to support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time I use my Star Code, I get paid. And guys, I made a Twitter account for future updates and giveaways, so make sure to follow. Where the actor slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Okay, so before I start, credits to Gamer Robot YouTube channel, guys. Uh, most of the clips came from his video. Okay, so make sure to subscribe. And for the update release date, it is on Thursday 9 p.m. EST or Friday 9 a.m. at in the China time. Okay, guys, so time to showcase this fruit. First up is the M1. Yes, this fruit has an M1 or left click, which is really good, guys. Uh, by looking at it, I think we will be having a 4 to 5 hit combo. There you go, again. And slow motion, guys. Uh, this is a good thing. Every fruit that has M1, fast grinding, okay? Moving on to the skills. First up, Z skill is the accursed enchantment. Master requirement is 1. So, guys, the cooldown is not yet verified. Guys, with this skill, you can also hit the ground, okay? This is a good thing. There you go. Okay, so guys, you will notice that this uh, character has three tails. So for the tails, this will serve as a rage meter. You can use skills to fill this up. And this is a requirement for you to transform. Actually, one of the requirements, you still need mastery. Okay, for the X skill, guys, we got the tail of burning agony. So mastery required is 50. So guys, you can hit a maximum of three enemies. Okay, so guys, I think that is not a good indicator of a grinding fruit for that skill only guys for that skill only X skill but still it's too early to judge the fruit right cooldown is not indicated again guys why not good because guys when grinding you need to defeat like four right at the time because the usual requirement is eight enemies for a quest next up for our next skills his skill is the fox fire disruption master required is 100 so guys in short tail beast bomb <laughs> So guys, uh, as you can see, it is an AoE, which is really good for grinding. Yes, multiple enemy targets, more than three, hopefully. So things to know, guys, cooldown is not yet known, but we need to look for the knockback first. Also, if the flame has DPS. So guys, knockback is really important because we don't want to like uh, lure enemies again, right? We want to defeat them as fast as possible. So for the F skill, guys, sweep assault, master required is 200. Let's check this out there you go so guys uh let me point out some good things about it but first guys this is not your usual f skill why because i think this skill is not for traveling anyways good points it has good damage right meaning there's an additional damage or a skill for damaging which is good for grinding right again for the bad points not all for long distance traveling yes again this is not sure and the required master is 200 that's a lot right okay moving on guys v skill or transformation required is 300 mastery plus you need to have a rage meter of three or three tails okay also check the dash and jump and run for the kitsune yeah even though you're not transformed you have your own uh, version there you go also, an ally can ride you while you are transformed. Again, guys, when you are transformed, there you go. So guys, I'm thinking this is a good feature, feature sorry, especially when you want to grind bounties or honor, right? So imagine you're, you're riding a kitsune, so he's dashing, damaging your enemy, and while riding him, you can use your skills. So guys, for the transform form, this is the Z skill. There you go. Guys, notice the three flames. You can hit three enemies with this one. Correct me if I'm wrong, okay? <laughs> I'm kinda sleepy while recording and making this video because it's already uh, almost 2 a.m. here in the Philippines. <laughs> there you go. So guys, if you hit three enemies, right? You, uh, the, uh, they will have their own effects like a uh, flame. Guys, check this out. While you're casting, there are three flames, right? Around you. There you go. Again, every enemy that you will hit will have its own effect, flame effect. There you go. Okay. So again, just like the previous skill before transform, even if the attack missed, there's still effects. <laughs> you can hit the floor. There you go. So guys, most likely the damage is higher compared to your untransformed version. Okay. So I think that's it. Let's move on to the next skill again. 
Tales of Burning Agony. I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. Okay. So guys, if you think of it, okay, look at the effects. This one is a better version of the C skill of the Eclo, right? Remember? Or I'm thinking of the Z skill of the Midnight Blade, right? Okay. So guys, what do you think? Again, Z skill of the Midnight Blade or the oh sorry. Z skill of the portal blade. I portal blade, sorry. Really stupid. Portal fruit. Okay, but guys, I will be posting this one 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. <laughs> For C skill again, this is just the other version of the uh, tail beast bomb. There you go. Guys, check the explosion. Boom. Alright. Guys, this one's really good. Again, if you watch the trailer. There you go, guys. The only ad the admins can do this one. Like uh, continuous attacks. <laughs> they don't have cooldown. And again, for uh, the last skill, last but not least, the F skill, the Swift Assault. So guys, not sure if this flame has damage every time you use this. So again, uh, I'm not sure if this is long range. But guys, I think this won't be that long. Because again, you can run really fast with this fruit. There you go. Especially when you're transformed. Okay, so yeah, guys. I forgot to show you the M1. Here is the M1 of the Kitsune Transformed. Now, by just looking at it, I think there will be 5 hits. Yeah, 5 hit combo, 3, 4, 5. Yes. Okay, let's slow, slow motion. 1, 2, 3, turn 4, and 5. Yep. Also, guys, transform. Form can run on water. I think I can now change race. Like, remove my shark race. Now, use other races and see exploration. But the question is, can you get pushed underwater and get damage? Like the magma fruit, right? You can walk... On water but you can still get damage also there are new accessories on the game let me show you that really quick okay first up is the kitsune ribbon there you go check the back there you go and the other one is the kitsune mask here's the kitsune mask there you go really looks good check that out guys I want to wear this one anyways you can get this uh, accessories on sea events so guys Let's do that. I will be posting a private server. Anyways, on my previous video, guys, I forgot to show you or include the spiky trident. I've been receiving lots of comments on that. So guys, here it is. I made a video on using all 37 swords and defeating factory. So here it is, guys. Spiky trident. There you go. Here it is. So where can you get this one? I think you can get this one from the Do King, right? So it has two skills. The Do Hurricane and the Flying Trident. So at first, I thought you cannot damage this using your uh, Z skill, but yes, you can as long as you aim properly. Check this out, guys. See that? At first, I, I really don't know that you can damage this. So what I did was uh, use the Shift Lock and stay on top of the core. Okay? So as you can see, using your M1, you will be lunging forward. Again, I am doing this because I forgot to include this one on my previous video. So that makes me uh, like show you only 36 swords. So this is a 37th sword. There you go. Also, guys, can you guess what fruit I got after destroying the factory? Uh, clue. The value of this fruit is really underrated. So actually, it is. Yeah, is it underrated? The value on the game, okay? Not the value on the black market. This is one of the highest, if not the high, one of the highest valued fruits in, or fruit in the trading market. So guys, if you're guessing Buddha fruit, this is the Buddha fruit. So I think that's it for this video. Guys, see you on this upcoming update. This is Gamer Nom. Gamer Nom out.